Alright fellow ninjas, Thomas Tapp here, coming at you with another video for Ask the Taps. Notice I don't have my shirt on, pasty gingerness, so make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And today we have a question from Psycho P Design, and he asks, Hey Tap Brothers, I would like to start to learn how to do parkour. What moves do I need to learn? So you might be in the position right now, you're just getting started in parkour or maybe you want to really kill that next obstacle course race and you want just the efficient, best moves that you need to learn first to get down parkour. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the first five beginner parkour moves that you should learn first. These are basically, if I was going to teach someone to become a ninja over the weekend or be able to tackle an obstacle course race, just the essentials. These are the first five moves that I'd have them learn. And make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to share with you a five day parkour starter course you can get a hold of absolutely for free. So let's get started. Before we get started, I wanted to warn you that if you're in a position where you need to cut some extra weight, you need to develop a base of athleticism, some of these movements you're about to see may seem a little advanced. And that's okay. If that's you, we're going to start even smaller and develop that base of athleticism. And if you're in that position, you can check out a workout down in the description. Now let's go into learning those five beginner moves. The first move, number one, beginner parkour move, is your basic landing and parkour roll. In anything, especially with obstacle course training, we're taking drops. In parkour, you're always taking drops. Even as an athlete, we're constantly landing and taking impact. If we screw this up, this is what can easily be the difference between landing a jump and tearing an ACL compared to landing a jump smoothly and being able to run after. So this is very important. So here's a quick demonstration of what the basic landing looks like. A beginner level, you're gonna jump up, land, nice and controlled. Once you get more advanced, you're gonna be able to go ninja style with it, be able to take from impact, have no issues. Just taking that good landing there. And then after this, after we master that landing technique, part of the basic landing is getting the roll afterwards. So it, anytime we have forward momentum, if we trip, we fall, we're off balance, or we have a lot of momentum going forward, or for jumping from extreme height, this is when we want to incorporate the parkour roll. And this is how you can save your joints and a lot of damage by using this roll. So I'll just show you a quick demonstration off of here. I'm gonna jump. And you're off. The parkour move number two for beginners is the safety vault. Now just like the name says, this is the safest vault and in my opinion one of the most versatile vaults you can use. Especially for those of us going to ops course races and we, especially if we haven't developed too much strength, very safe way to vault over obstacles. So I'll show you with this right here. This is basically what it's going to look like. Up and over. And the key with this is you're able to use many points of contact so you have a lot of control here. You can also use this safety vault to go into other moves. So I'll show you. If you're off of, you're going off a high ledge, you don't know what's on the other side, you can use your safety vault to get up there very quickly. Someone's chasing you, you're able to assess the situation. Oh, it's really high, I can do my turn vault and go down. And then if I'm going up, it's just right there. The safety vault you can do pretty much everywhere. and you can see how useful that is. And just to show you the versatility of this, you can easily, once you get your ninja skills up to a higher level, you can turn your safety vault and easily switch it into a speed vault so you get more speed and you get more clearance. Parkour beginner move number three is going to be your wall run. The wall run is very essential for if you're in a chase or you have to evade someone, clearing over a wall is one of the easiest ways to divide space and to be able to escape. It's also very useful for obstacle course races. You always have those walls you have to climb over and you never want it to be a struggle. This will help you just fly over those walls. So just to show you real quick, a very beginner version, find a wall, it's about your height. And what you're gonna do is hit off the wall and just hop over using that wall run technique. And then as we get better, we'll find another wall. We'll just go over there real quick using the techniques where I learned safety, basic landing. You can see all the movements there. Moving on from that, once you get your wall run down, you want to learn your turn vault. The turn vault is essential for if you need to escape a burning building, 
you need to drop down off the balcony or if you have a date that you want to just bail on and you gotta escape off the balcony, this is the movie you would learn. This is how you can safely uh, escape or evade. So what you're gonna do is just turn over to the wall, drop down, form that basic landing. And then again, this is where we combine the safety as well, safety to turn ball. So if you're up on a high level, you see your, what's going on, realize you need to get down, turn, drop, safe. You can see all these movements will combine together to where you can be basically put in any situation and be able to escape or evade or overcome that obstacle. Beginner parkour move number five that you have to learn is your precision jump. And for this one, because I know some of you watching out there think it's just one of us. I mean, there's two of us actually that look the same. We're twins. And you might just think there's just one of us. So we're going to switch here, do a little uh, twin switch or ruski here. Oh snap, I look just like that dude. He does. I get to jump down in this video. We just switched up, we got a new mic. Who knows how it's going to sound, so if there's some mic issues, don't worry, we test a new mic. But it allows us to switch back and forth, so we'll probably try to do more of this. But yeah, the last one we want to do is that precision, because anytime you're doing an obstacle course, there's going to be times where you need to have good balance and precision, meaning you need to land on a specific point or either when you're running or doing jumps. So for example, if this was a little, a little gap right here and I need to land right here and stick it, this is the precision jump. We're jumping, we're landing, we're sticking, and we can move from here. Or we can do a stride. So for instance, if I need to step on this point, land on this, but keep running, and so maybe even precision to this one, this is where the stride precision comes in. So we can run, we can land here, 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 and keep it going, and keep that speed going. So we can do precisions for a lot of different things. We're here, we go up here, go up here, we're here. Wow, wow, we can run, get here, and then like this jump. I was thinking about doing it, but then when I got up here, I can assess that right now because I haven't warmed up properly, and this is a pretty far jump. I can't do this safely right now. And that's one of the great things about training your precisions is once you've trained it, you really understand how far you can jump. So you can assess a jump and say, okay, I probably shouldn't do this, or okay, yeah, I can make this. And then you can change the move based on what the distance is. That was the last move. We're going to switch back, so Tom's going to finish it off. But. All right, so those, those are the five essential moves. And why they're so essential, I just want to reiterate this, is those, those moves right there, you can pretty much uh, tackle any obstacle. So even this, you're running up, you, need to, you can do safety here, turn vault, safely go down, safety up, turn vault, drop down, wall run. Then you got your precision. Basic landing, and then you can just hop up. You need to roll. Drop. Basic landing again. So you can see how beneficial all these moves are. Basically, you learn those five, and you master them. You are pretty much set for parkour or your obstacle course training. So I might try to do that precision too. Yeah, look, I just wasn't feeling. I wasn't warmed up enough. Coming back. I had to get that one because Jonathan didn't get it earlier. Okay, so those are the five beginner moves you're gonna wanna learn. Now, if you want to get full breakdown tutorials and a starter course on those movements and get started in parkour, then I want you to click the link down in the description, check out that five day starter course and get started with your parkour training. So as always, train safe, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Leave any comments down below for any questions or more tutorials you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I'm gonna switch real quick. Okay. Now that was just disgraceful what just happened right there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thomas got that jump. I'll have to go get it here in just a second. But yeah, again, check down in the description because that's a $27 course that we get for free for people just getting started. So you're gonna learn all the beginner moves. So do that, and again, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next video.